Cafe Anyway Hey, hey, it's Mike Mike's Daily Podcast It's wonderful to be here today I'm trying to do this show daily Because that's the name of the show And I want to keep up my end of the bargain With the name Mike's Daily Podcast Oh, life is bigger Bigger than you and you are not me the lengths that I would go through the distance in your eyes That's not exactly how that song goes Or is it? It's F- episode 2560 Thank you for listening to Mike's Daily Podcast It's really nifty And I think today We'll cover some stuff that's not so Mike's Daily Podcast Conspiracy theory based That's not so cabal based That's a little more Mike's Turkey based Because that's delicious Podcast. Although we don't have any yeah. Yet Because we're a little, little ways out From the whole um... Hey New Year's That's long gone isn't it We're in March now Was it March day May day No May day right We got the St. Patrick's Day coming up Alright all that excitement Is on the way and perhaps uh, some uh, big movies coming out soon. Perhaps the the Chris Rock special on Netflix. Oh wait, we missed that. Netflix has been the biggest cheerleader of TV binge watching. As you know, that was that didn't really become well known until the world of uh, Netflix, and that we were all oh we can watch all these shows all at once. And not have to go to the library to rent these Because there are no more video stores to rent these Back then it was one movie, one time Unless you got the DVD of Let's say a bunch of Seinfelds You could binge watch those But Netflix made it oh so difficult For us to say no to multiple episodes But then This past weekend Netflix ventured into traditional old TV broadcasting via live programming. And here's today's podcast picture. They had the special from Chris Rock. The picture is not of Chris Rock, but of something that happened recently. A nice picture I took. And you can see it at mikesdailypodcast.com. The one from yesterday from the podcast called Storm featured snow in the mountains there above Livermore. I don't know if you've seen that yet, but we got some snow. We'll get some more. We're supposed to get another atmospheric river at the end of the week. Oh, joy. (sighs) And it is so cold these days. Cold for the Bay Area. And you know who did not like cold weather was Basil. The late great Basil the Boxer. He would... I finally got him a sweater. Which I still have. I don't put it on. But I have it and I I have it out And it reminds me of him And it's a a piece of A memory of such a great dog That needed a big sweater Because he was a big dog But it was Chris Rock And He was the first artist To perform a live comedy special On Netflix Netflix not really known for doing live stuff It's all stuff that's uploaded And then you stream it You watch it Netflix has tried out a new kinds of content, including games, and borrowed from some of the old ways of the TV business, such as in, in uh, advertising, getting into live shows in effort to encourage old school appointment viewing. Hey, it's happening tonight at eight. Let's watch it. Like like sports is appointment viewing. It really hasn't gone away I guess You know everybody rushed to watch The Last Sopranos Oh it's on tonight But it's kind of faded away Over the past couple of years Last year Netflix hosted an in-person Comedy festival With 336 comedians Performing in Los Angeles And get this They sold more than 260,000 tickets Other streaming services have already bet on live events Disney Plus aired a live Elton John concert From Dodger Stadium last year Did you watch that? And I think it's going to be a long long time Till Touchdown brings me around 
again to find Amazon pays $1 billion annually To stream Thursday night NFL football games They do 15 of those Apple TV Plus has a, an agreement with Major League Baseball and Major League Soccer To carry games Did you hear that quite possibly the A's may be going to Vegas Just like the Oakland Ra- Raiders went to Vegas So that's Major League Baseball That's all the news I have for that This was Chris Rock's second comedy special on Netflix Coming after 2018's Chris Rock's Tambourine and be, uh, Netflix rather paid Chris Rock $40 million for the two specials So I'm sure he was quite happy And then I kept hearing stuff about how he's not Still not over getting slapped There was some story about that <laughs> that I saw in the news And I ignored You're welcome But yes uh, He reportedly Still wants to repair things Oh Will Smith wants to repair things With Chris Rock Um and Alright Now the median price for a luxury home Specifically homes that sold for More than 2.5 million dollars Which Interestingly enough It cost 1.5 million dollars 1.5 To build a amusement park A wax museum based amusement park In Orlando And Six Flags owned it It was Six Flags First attempt at getting into Orlando, Florida Because of course that's where all the amusement parks are You've got the, uh, what is that? The Universal Studios, the Disney The, what is it? Is SeaWorld there? Or Busch Gardens? I think it's SeaWorld And so, but Now, homes that sold for more than $2.5 million As we go outside a cafe anyway We're bringing you Mike's Deli Podcast Somewhere in Podcast Row Out, eh? The last place on earth where it's cold Anyway The median price for a luxury home Was up 6% In January From a year earlier January of 2022 It was up 6% And however It was less December Was It was up 20% Luxury homes are At a new multi-year peak In terms of days on the market It used to be 37 days To be on the market And it would get sold Now it's 61 days Twice as long Besides much higher interest rates Causing the less houses being bought There's broader economic shifts Like growing tech layoffs That are putting pressure On lux- on the luxury home market Not as many rich, richy, rich, rich Silicon Valley types anymore I was watching What was I watching? Somebody was talking about how, Oh! There's a guy he works in the medical industry He's really brilliant when it comes to Working on eye technology And repairing eyes And making eyes see better And he worked in the tech industry And the health industry But his favorite show was Silicon Valley And I think that's probably true A lot of people in Silicon Valley Love the TV show Silicon Valley I don't think they're making any more of those That one actor that I see in everything Is in that show That's why I don't watch it I'm like that guy is just so oversaturated The uh, 40% of all mortgages were Issues In 2020 to 2021 Where rates were way lower So luxury is hurting a lot more now Than normal residential And some are saying that the housing market has collapsed So that's how it is now If you own a home and you want to sell it Think about renting it And if you don't have a home now Be happy (laughs) Because owning a home is a pain Things go out Things break down 
And you're on the hook for it Because you are the homeowner And don't forget If you live in California You got property taxes And something that A lot of homeowners cannot do Is own a Tesla Because they are expensive But they have cut prices On vehicles again The Model S and Model X vehicles They've cut prices on them The Model S was dropped by $5,000 Which is a drop in a bucket Because now it's Guess what Guess how much cheaper it is Guess how much it costs $89,990 Basically almost $90,000 For a Model S I see Teslas everywhere In the Bay Area I think I drove on the road today At least next to 10 Throughout my travels My 45 minute commute The cost of the Model X SUV Was dropped by 10000 Bringing it to Well almost Just a little shy of $100,000 Wow for the basic version Tesla, Ford, Toyota, Jeep Were uh, among 1 million rec- Had 1 million recalled vehicles Dang Recalled vehicles So not only are cars more expensive But they don't work as well Sirius XM Has cut 8% of its workforce Do you remember Sirius XM? It's been around a while I think since the 90s Or the early 2000s The early O's Sirius XM They used to be separate And then they came together So much for competition Satellite radio Basically wherever you drive in your car You've got radio You don't have to worry about transmitters Not getting their signal to you Which that was AM Back in the day AM signals travel much further Than FM But people like FM Because of the stereo sound What? There's such a thing as stereo sound? Yes There's kind of a stereo sound thing Happening with this podcast But Sirius XM cut 8% of its workforce And that was 475 jobs Now There is also This bit of news Outside a cafe anyway Somewhere in Podcastro Valley The last place on earth Look who is here Hello Monk Matthews It's Kelly Stewart Kickstarter supervisor Yeah I got some news What is your news? I've got a new snow globe Oh look at that snow globe It's so nice What's this snow globe? Well, you're talking about like weather conspiracy theorists And how they say that there's weather engineering And that there's no such thing as real snow anymore It's all fake Because it's all uh, made out of polymers Yes, there was a story I heard about Well, somebody, somebody who believes in weather engineering was saying that Yeah, that the snow is caused by chemtrails and all that Yeah, Mike Matthews, that's what the snow globe has Chemtrails and fake snow Well most snow globes have fake snow in it But thank you Shelly Look who else is here And by the way you can buy that at the, in the gift shop Of the KH Santa Fe Cafe Wait a minute <laughs> That's an old show I used to do And I have featured clips from that old show But today On the Matthews The Oh wait Not the Matthews New Tunes feud That's another segment I do I'm not going to do that on today's show I'm going to do Let's go back with Matthews The front panel will close automatically And we're going to go back to before I worked at the country station To when I worked for a top 40 station In the late 80s Ooh It's going to be interesting Look who else is here Oh Mike this is Floyd the floor man and this is John Deere, the engineer, Mike. Yes, we can't wait to go back in time with you. Mm-mm. Yes, it's going to be fantastic. We're going to go back in time because that's what we do sometimes on this show. All right, so let me press this button here. And yes, so I was listening to... I, I Okay, this cassette I did not know existed. And probably it should not exist. I'm not looking forward to playing this for you. But yeah, 
yeah, there's some cure there playing. Okay, so this is the late 80s. This is 1989. Actually, February and March. So we're talking around this time of year. In 1989. So here we are. Uh, what is it? That, that's 34 years ago. All right. So here's a 20-year-old mic. And make sure you can hear this. Paul Abdul, very big. Are you just KHDY Y ninety seven? Hello, my name is Mike Matthews. I'm the Y ninety seven substitute DJ, and it's Friday night. What are you doing? Uh, nothing. You're doing nothing. Well, what do you mean you're doing nothing? It's Friday night, for gosh sakes. Who are you? I'm Hillary and Laura. Hillary and Laura. So the both of you are there right now? Yeah. Hillary and Laura. What are you doing right now? You're doing nothing? What are we doing right now? Partying. We're partying on 187 right now. Berlin, no more words. Come on. 187. I don't know what was going on with my voice back then. I was going to talk like this. Maybe that was the way people talked. Okay, so yes, it was a Friday night and people were listening. And I was trying to, you know, we were a top 40 station and the guy that usually did the show would put a lot of collars on. <laughs> Berlin, no more words. That's a good song. Hey, have you been to my YouTube channel yet? YouTube.com slash Mike Staley Podcast or just look up Mike Staley Podcast and there is a uh, playlist that I created called Best Obscure Rock Found by Mike Matthews and it is a, a hoot. I think I have that song in there. So let's listen to a, another one. As I cr- This is very cringeworthy for me. Taylor Dane, I'll always love you. Yes. Hello, I'm Mike Matthews. I am the substitute DJ for Y97. How you doing? What I want you to do is welcome in the weekend for me. I want you to just call 965-9797. When I pick up the line, just say, hello, weekend. Okay? It's going to be crazy, but we got to do it. It's fun. Here's Squeeze and the Hourglass on Y97. Hello, weekend. Just like that. You know, it's, it's fun. Y97. Aww. Squeeze. What a great band. Oh, that was from the, what was that? What was that album called? Not RG Bargy. That was that squeeze album. It also had eight, six, five, four, nine, three, seven. Angela can't make it to the phone. Yeah. Oh, that, what other squeeze albums were there? There was the well, was the greatest hits. Oh, Around and About. That was the one. They did one a couple years back. Well, maybe 20 years. That was called Spot the Difference. Where they covered songs that they had done earlier. But they did them again. And they were like, hey, can you, can you spot the difference? Okay, I'll think of it some more. Here's one more part. But, but, um- Hello, KHDY 197. Hello, I'm Mike Matthews, the 197 substitute DJ, because Dynamite Darren Stone is is off about Santa Barbara, socializing, having a great time. I'll be telling you about that in just a second, but please, uh, I have someone on my line. Go ahead, say it. Hello, weekend on Y97. Um... <clears throat> Wow. Uh, hey, hey, this is Mike Matthews. And let me tell you, let me tell you about this collage present. That was a friend of mine. I think that was a friend of mine from college who I told I was going to be on the radio. <laughs> I had a bunch of people calling in that night that I knew. That's when you hear a lot of uh, people calling into a radio station. Generally, they're, they're plants, they're seeds that people have pre uh, set up ahead of time the album I was thinking of was Babylon and on they had some great album titles squeeze they had let's see uh, there was cool for cats singles 45s and under there was one called play and it actually had the script for a play inside but it meant like playing around they're, they're playing on the front cover they're playing I guess they're playing hide and seek inside this big flower pot, it looks like. And I get, eh, up the junction was another one. Okay. So there you go. Back in time. Well, 
this has been a fun podcast. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I hope I didn't blow your ears out. At some other point, I'll do another thing where we'll go back in time and listen to a past past year mic in the past from a thousand days back and listen to something that I did years ago. But I love part of what I love listening to with those is not only how young I sounded and how my voice hasn't changed that much, but also the music has changed so much. Like that squeeze song was pretty big and you never hear it anymore. But it was a big song at the time. Here, I'll just grab one other one here. Thank you. On what station is it playing right now? Guns N' Roses. Oh my gosh. That would be, uh, was that Wild Thing Tone Look? Mike Matthews, and, and man, am I with it. I'm about ready to play the longest song in the history of mankind on the top nine tonight. Isn't that right? Yeah. Isn't that right? Yeah. What's your name? Uh, uh, James. James? Yeah. James, uh, number three, what's the song? It goes to the roses, Paradise City. James, you're so quick. I know. Thank you. On what station is it playing right now? Y97. He's so quick. I think it's a little less than six minutes, but yeah, it's a pretty long song. There you go. And that song had just come out, and that was uh, Top Nine at Nine, so it was the, one of the top nine songs of the day on that Friday. Well, tell me what you think about all of this. What was your favorite song from the late 80s or from the 80s in general or from all time? Let me know. You can call me at 1-800. No, I don't have an 800 number. I'm in the 510 area code. It is 510-228-4640. 510-228-4640. And for other ways to reach me, here's A-Frame. Mike's TV Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye. That was FF episode 2570-2570. And you can catch all the past podcasts and see the latest podcast pictures at mikesdailypodcast.com.